Hey everyone, it's Lemon here and welcome to ESO. The new chapter is out, it's been out for almost a week now, but I haven't really touched it yet because I didn't really have time, but today we are traveling somewhere new, somewhere else, where... <laughs> Alright, first of all, I want to try out the new class, so I'm gonna create a necromancer. First we're gonna get rid of this monstrosity. <laughs> Alright, goodbye my old friend, I played with you for like 10 minutes or something. Nice! Oh jeez, I'm glad he's gone. Alright, uh, yeah, let's create a Necromancer. Okay, we're gonna go with the Breton because they have a huge Magicka boost. They are one of the best magic characters. Yes, I'm gonna choose you, Pikachu, don't worry. First I was thinking about creating a High Elf, but then I just realized how much of a peasant they are. And also, I wanna stay with the Covenant for obvious reasons. Alright, and now comes the Barbie Simulator. <laughs> and that is how anxiety sounds like. <laughs> what the hell is this? Salut, Citron, mon amour. <laughs> okay, I should stop. I'm woke. Now I'm suspicious. Now I'm woke. Now I'm suspicious. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it somewhere here. <laughs> He's gonna be a little bit woke, but a little bit suspicious as well. That's like the perfect balance. Alright, I just realized it doesn't really matter what I do, because he's gonna look like Aragorn from Lord of the Rings anyways. Nice. Okay, now we need a name. Hmm, this is the hardest part ever. <laughs> Wait a minute, I have an idea. Perfect! Brace yourself, Tamriel! The first ever Lemon Master is on the way. This sounds like the most epic class ever. I can imagine he's gonna just go and conjure lemons and lemonade everywhere. Sounds like a dream. Alright, let's do this. Tutorial. Pff, I don't need tutorial. Please. Alright, here we go. I can already feel elsewhere. The Lemon Mancer steps in action. Here we go. Oh damn, I look ugly. Well, it's too late now. Ah, I'm gonna just take this. Eh. I'm already criminal, I just killed a butterfly. It's all downhill from here. Oh, we are already level 3. Okay, cool. We're gonna be magical necromancers. I don't really know how they call them. Macromancers or something? Oh, wait, pre-order bonus pack? This is what I paid so much money for. Alright, let's see what we got. The exclusive noble clan chief costume, the exclusive blue dragon imp pets, three elsewhere treasure maps, a bandari peddler crown crate. Ah, oh, cool, okay. And two crown experience scrolls. I have like 18 of those. Okay, uh, that's cool. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> we already filled more than half of the inventory. We are off to a good start. Alright, do we have like some starter kits? Oh. Alright, now we just look like the hobo version of Aragorn. Alright. We are ready to take over elsewhere, I guess. Ah, alright, I see. The people are already killing the dragons, nice. Now let me take my pre-order horse, thank you. Alright, this is how we're gonna roll. I should probably choose a costume as well. Perfect! <laughs> nice! <laughs> From behind it looks like I'm playing a girl, but once you turn around he's like, Sub bro! <laughs> okay, so the Grave Lord is the DPS kill line, I think. Uh, I'm gonna train him as a DPS, so I'm gonna unlock these first. And we don't have anything else, so... Alright, cool! Wow, I can already feel the power and we are progressing so fast. Now, I'm very curious about the new crown crate. I think we should take a look at that first. Well met and good fortune to you. Ah, thank you very much, Pakruti. It's nice to see you too, you stupid microtransaction, Khajiit. Oh wait, I also have an Orboros crown crate. All right, let's start with that. Of course, style material, poison, poison, and other style material. <laughs> Pakruti's like, well, shit, <laughs> I feel you. Alright, uh, let's open the Bandari Peddler Crate now. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Alright, here we go. Excellent selection. Well, I certainly hope so. I paid money for this. The rewards are ready. Oh, look at that. Wait, can it be? Is this the reincarnation of the butterfly we killed in the first, like, two minutes or something? I'm gonna just take this. Eh. 
<sighs> I guess this is what they call karma. Wait a minute. Is that... Oh my, it's a level 42 Charizard! I'm gonna help <laughs> with my only ability. I feel so useful. But boy, am I gonna get XP for this. Did somebody say Fusroda? Hold on a second. Oh, it was a dragon! Of course! <laughs> He's speaking dragon language. That's so awesome. Jeez. I've just only killed one dragon on a PTS, but this is much cooler without the watermarks. I'm pretty sure that's the only reason. Damn it. I like that nobody wanted to resurrect me, which is kinda understandable, but it pretty much destroyed my self-esteem. Oh boy, I'm gonna get so many XP for that. 601 experience! Nice! It literally did nothing. Awesome. Alright, what should we do next? I was thinking maybe we should start a quest or something, and let's see where we end up. Alright, here we go. Going with the speed of light. We could be there any minute. Yep. Man, I'm so fast! Yay! Here we are! Riverhold! It just only took 1,000 years. A moment, please. Oh, what is it? Uh, excuse me. If I may be so bold, you match the description I was given? What kind of description do you have? I'm literally a half-naked Aragorn with a pet dragon. But anyway, a message? For me? Comes from Abner Tharn. Oh no, that senile old Riverhold dude again? Okay, I will travel to Riverhold and see what Abner Tharn wants. A Rage of Dragons. Wait, is this the first quest in the main story? I think so. Alright, nice, we found it. Oh, and we are already here, okay. I'm Abner Tharn, battle mage and former advisor. Alright, blah blah blah. Tharn, I don't have time for you now. Oh wait, actually I do. Okay, hi. You must be here about my summons. Yeah. Good. I was just telling Lord Goreshri and Kamira that someone... Kamira! Where is she? Lead me to her! Here, I need I to see Kamira now! Help us save elsewhere from a rage of dragons? A rage of dragons? Man, I don't so know what you're talking about. Flawless. And I just killed one like 10 minutes ago. We'll deal with that later. Right now we must assist the defense force. Rendezvous with us at their command post. On your way, however, I have another task Oh for you. boy. I detected a series of power surges that I want you to investigate. Alright, tell me more about these surges of power. I was formulating a spell to track the dragons when I noticed several surges of arcane energy not far from here. <laughs> I'm they pretty sure that was me. Do these surges of energy have something to do with the dragons? Hard to say with certainty, but I don't believe so. They remind me of Sir Cadwell, who somehow opens portals with a power of similar intensity. Cadwell? Check is he here as well? I feel like the whole gang is here together in Elsewhere. Who is Cadwell? Alright, 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 stop right there. I don't have time for this peasant conversation. Alright, let's see what we should do. Investigate power surge locations. Okay, these are pretty close. Which is a good thing, because right now we are slower than orcs on math exams. Alright, here's the first power surge. No, Azazi. Never touch a Daedric monster. <gasps> Especially a dead one. This is an Elfik! Look at her! Let me pet her first, please. <laughs> Please. Kitty, kitty, kitty. I'm pretty sure that's inappropriate, but oh, I can talk to her. Okay. Mm, what a stench! Oh, look at this face. I don't even like cats that much, but <laughs> just look at this face. Okay, Asaza, tell me what's up. Don't touch the dead thing. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Calm down, man. What is this voice? <laughs> this guy was creepy, and also he's very small. He's literally looking at my nipples and my beautiful belt buckle. <laughs> Alright, uh, so that was it. I don't really know what happened because I was messing around with these guys. But if it's so simple, I think I can handle this. Come, Drogon, follow your Khaleesi. Oh, it's there. Fall smelling sack. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I should touch it. Don't touch it! Okay, it's just a rotten turkey leg. Phew. Squad Commander Panth Panth Pantheus Pantheus. Both Her Majesty Queen Eurexia and her court necromancer Zumurk Fum <laughs> That's a lame name. Have detected a series of unknown surges of magical energy uncomfortable close to Rimen's western borders. 
You are to immediately divert your squad and investigate the locations indicated on the accompanying map. Your orders are to investigate each area, note any unusual creatures or occurrences and capture any bystanders for interrogation. To be clear, Her Majesty wants them alive. Failure is not an option. That sounds like a typical senior quote. I saw you, traveler. What? Why Who's that? All outsiders insist on acting suspiciously. Oh, it's just uh, Lahara, Lahara had, Lahara, Lahara. I'm pretty sure I just said something inappropriate in another language. I watched you go from location to location, just like the man with the pot on his head. Are you an agent of the Usurper Queen? Nope, I don't even know who she is. The hated Imperial who conquered Rimen and falsely claimed to be its queen. Oh, she's the one from the trailer! Now I remember! We're gonna free elsewhere from her, I think. <laughs> Sorry for spoiling it or something. I mean, it's not a spoiler, it was in the trailer, but... Now I remember, okay. Where did the man with the pot on his head go? Uh, the last I saw, he headed east. Alright, east it is! <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna put on my pot as well. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now there are two losers around these parts of Tamriel, wearing a pot on their head. I feel this is how he's gonna know that I'm a friend. He's gonna see the pot on my head and he's gonna be like, Yep, that's my bro right there. This is what I get for killing every chicken I see, isn't it? Bestly! Okay, I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. Uncanny. Cadwell! Just like the lovely place I dreamed of Earth. Must be why my portals led me here. Eventually. It's so nice to hear John Cleese once again. Hello, you come to pay your respects to this poor fellow too? It was the strangest thing. I was looking at this very grey stone in a dream. So here I came, and there it is, all solid and everything. Is this gravestone important? Important? I have no idea. I suppose it must be. <laughs> I saw it in a dream after all. Or was it a vision? Abdathan sent me to check on searches of power he detected. Than, you say, the grumpy battle mage. How are yep, you that one. The surges were probably just me. My portal took a few tries before we honed in on this exact location. Now, why don't you take a look at the gravestone and see what you make of it? All right, uh, look at our matching outfit. We are just two pot hats hanging around. Oh, wait, that means something else, right? Okay, anyway. Uh, ancient gravestone. Here lies the head of the betrayer. His name has been stricken from history. May the pieces of his dismembered body remain hidden until Joan and Jode fall from the sky. Okay, he dead. Wait, what are you doing, Cadwell? Please dig my grave as well. What do you think you dreamed about this gravestone? I don't have the slightest idea. The words of course, why would you? Alright, Abner Than said, uh, if I found you, I should ask if you will help us with the dragon problem in elsewhere. Dragons? I have battled a dragon since... You know, I, I, I can't remember, but I'm certain I fought one or two in my day. I was a gallant knight, after all. Oh. Of course I'll help. Oh wait, you were. You were Sir Lancelot in Monty Python's Holy Grail. I remember. Alright, then we will see you soon, I guess. Survive a dragon attack. Wait, what? Oh, would you look at that? Okay, I'm gonna just stay back. <laughs> I'm gonna let those guys just deal with the dragon. Oh, and he's gone. He was like, nope, <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Alright, see you, dragon. Ooh, look at that. Poor Scally boy. I guess Argonians don't really like deserts after all. Alright. Hey, Tharn, I'm back. Oh, now you show up. Left me to deal with a dragon all by myself. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that was exactly what I was doing. What about the power surges? Did you learn anything? Oh yes, you were right, it was Cadwell. He was drawn to an old grave of someone called the Betrayer. There's a Betrayer mentioned in the legends of Kunzari. It seems those stories continue to hound me. We can deal with that later. Right now, I want to know about Cadwell. Has he agreed to lend us his support? Well, yes, Cadwell agreed to help, but you should know he's been having some strange dreams. I don't really know if that's a new information or something, but... That doesn't surprise <laughs> me. Cadwell and Strange go together like hot bread and butter. Exactly, okay. Why don't you go help Kamira while I keep watch in case the... <gasps> yes, yes, return. yes! I'm gonna go and meet Kamira. Yo, I haven't seen you in a while. <gasps> it's her. I did not yes! 
Our resistance to Euraxia's rule requires more than just soldiers. There are intelligence reports, safe house locations, lists of supporters, documents we cannot afford to lose. Search the ruined camp and locate the documents, Walker. Uh, are these documents really that important? They are vital to our efforts to free Rimen from Euraxia's rule. All right, so pretty much yes. Wow, this Necromancer class feels so fluid. I like it. I really do. All right, there she is. You're so fascinated by the dead. Why don't you join them? Jeez! What did you do, woman? Wait, are you killing Necromancers? Oh boy, are we in trouble. This one doesn't know you. Well, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lemonmancer. That's also my profession, by the way. Nice to see you. Come here and ask me to recover these documents and give them to you. Right, moons. This one thought these were lost forever. You saved many lives at great risk to your own, Walker. Oh, but how many lives am I gonna take? Oh boy, oh boy. Let's not talk about that part. Wait, who did she kill? That was one of your Roxia, the usurper queen's pet necromancer. Uh, okay, I'm feeling a bit stressed right now. So this one took pleasure in ending his existence. Find Abner Thorn and Carmira. Tell them to meet us in Riverhold. Carmira? Anyways, I will find Abner Thorn and pass along the message. Man, there are so many new players ganging up together and just doing the main quest line. It's insane. All right, I found the documents and gave them to Nala Du. She went to River Hall to confer with Garish... Garish Ri. I must join them there. The Khajiiti forces have been decimated by this attack. The appearance of so many undead, though, that concerns me. I think there is no problem with that. That's totally perfect. Nala Du said Eurexia's chief necromancer, Zumog Foon, recently brought his followers to elsewhere. Zumog Foom and his necromancers working for my despicable half-sister. Such magic leaves behind the miasma of stench and decay. You know that I'm a necromancer, right? <laughs> I've dabbled with the dark arts myself and have Ooh, no objection okay. to practice. Alright, he's a good guy. I am more concerned about those mages of any stripe who use their powers to harm and destroy. I'm not saying anything. I can track down the, the source of the necromantic power. Good idea. Dragons are bad enough, but undead tend to go on without end. Alright, so the next step in the quest is pretty far away, so I think I'm gonna leave it right here. I really enjoyed this new class and the whole zone as well. So far, it's, it's pretty amazing. I'm gonna keep leveling this character because this class feels so fluid and so dynamic. As for the quest, I'm gonna probably finish the main quest line with my main character first, and after that with my necromancer. But anyway, so I hope you liked this video. I don't know if I should make this a series or something. I don't have that much free time, so I wouldn't be able to release new episodes every day. But if you guys like it, and if you wanna see more, then uh, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like as well. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. You're very welcome to join the Lemon Club. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Roll the outro!